looking through the slides and all of a sudden you said, that's my mother. Do you remember that? No. There was a picture of your, of your mom on there. Mrs. Johnson, I think you said her name uh -huh. was. Is that right? Now, uh -huh. where where did your folk, where were your folks at? Where did they live? My folk? Yeah. Well, they're long gone. <laughs> well, I know they're not living anywhere <laughs> now. <laughs> but where did they live? I, I think uh, my dad's folks were from uh, Denmark, I think. Oh. And my mother doesn't really know, but uh, as far as she knew, her mother came from uh, Canada. Oh. So where did you where did you grow up? Where did they live when you were young? I was born and raised in Helena. Oh, that's right. I stayed there until the bear and I got married. So where did you guys meet? Uh, well, he was in the service in the Second World War. At, and stationed at Camp Remini. Have you heard of McDonald Pass? Mm -hmm. Well, this is at the base of McDonald Pass. You turn off and go in, up a mountain trail. That's where the camp is at? Camp uh -huh. Remini? Uh -huh. Camp Remini. And were you there? Where, but where did you meet him? Well, that's where we met. We were... Someone was fixing up a a date with a, a girl and they had him call me and I said, oh, you don't want to go out with me, I'm short and fat. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's, <laughs> a <good story. laughs> that's a good story. And so me, I was skinny as a rail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what was, what was your first date? Where did you go? Gosh, I can't remember that far back. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just go out for dinner or something? Oh, I think so. We just went out. <laughs> it wasn't that memorable, huh? <laughs> yeah. It was the next 50 years or so that were more memorable. Yeah. <laughs> so then so then after he got out of the service, then you moved up, up to Hinsdale with him? Uh-huh. Is that the only place you guys ever lived was at the ranch? Yeah. And then Doc bought this home. Oh, you know, one in Hinsdale. Right, oh, yeah. that's right. You lived there for a he couple stayed, years, two, three we years? We stayed there some when the weather was, depending on right. the weather. I remember going and visiting you guys there a few times. That was always a lot of fun, going uh -huh. talking to you guys. Yeah. There we go. Can you tell me this? Can you tell me the story about the bobcat? That's my favorite story. No, I can't. My can. favorite picture. Is that the bear? Yes. Yeah, I, I know we have a picture of him with a bobcat hanging on the end of a rope. He, yeah, he... He roped it from his horse. That just sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't suggest anyone do it. Because if you missed, you might have had a mighty mad cat. Yeah, evidently, the horse was faster than the bobcat. Apparently. Yikes. Yeah. Well, it feels good in here. It is. It's nice and cool. It's a lot better than it was last week when I was here. Oh, yeah. That was toasty. Well, it was like that earlier today, and I turned us so be up cooler. I thought, well, if it didn't cool off by the time Heidi got here, she'd know what to do. Yeah, <laughs> I'd fix it for you again. <laughs> yeah. Because this done 72. But it was 75 earlier this afternoon, and boy, that's melting weather. And the sun was shining against oh, those yeah. things that there. That sun was pretty potent today. We haven't seen the sun in a few days. So. Uh -uh. It was pretty. It was pretty nice out today. It's supposed to get up to eighty this week. Oh, really? And cool off at the end of the week. Hmm. It's just it could stay this temperature, and I would be plum happy. Yeah, you could probably get more information from from. Uh, oh God! We were going to try to go visit Sid. We thought we might oh, try that. Yeah. Cause he, but I don't know. His hearing is pretty bad anymore, so he I'm not can't, sure. Doc says he can't visit anymore. Yeah, he can't hear you at all. But you might see Michael. He he, he might remember some more. He, he couldn't ask Doc because he's in Phoenix now. Oh, Doc went mm -hmm. back down to Phoenix. Yeah. Well, they have a home Mike, up then. here and a home down there, and I'm like, that is her. I know. That sounds like a good plan to me. I don't know. I don't know if I'd like Arizona, though. No. Well, they weren't. They aren't in Arizona. They're they're in Arizona, but uh, 
I can't remember the, the name of the town, but it's where, where Dock is, they each have an acre of land. Oh, nice. So, so they're not this close to their neighbor. Yeah, I think Mark's cousin, I think they go down there somewhere, and they actually have, they have a roping arena on their place, and they go down and do a lot of roping. Uh -huh. Your family would like that. I actually remember going up when, you, when the guys would still rope up in oh. your arena, up at your place, especially when um, Rachel and all the kids would be there to visit. I remember going yeah. up and roping with Dad and Mike. That and I remember stopping on our way up north to to Moo Cows. To Moo Cows. We'd always stop to get Bear's buttermilk pancakes. We'd stop once in a while and he'd make us breakfast. And I I was really, really impressed because I didn't know guys could cook. <laughs> I don't remember my dad ever cooking anything, but well, we stopped and Bear made us breakfast. The bear could cook and it, both of our boys cooked. But they learned from their dad. Well, the bear learned because his dad, all he'd eat is bologna or something. He says, well, I'm not going to live on bologna. <laughs> so he just started doing the cooking on his own. There you go. That's a good plan. So so who were, who were all your neighbors up there when the boys were little? Marshalls were always just across the, the way, They right? were across. The marshals were... I had to drive 12 miles north and then go west, or go left, if that was west. Yes. And uh, across the Frenchman Creek Dam and then turn south again. Oh, so it is, it's, it's right over the hill, but you got to go around about oh, ways yeah, to get there, don't 18 you? 18 miles from our place, I think. And who, so who was, who was your closest neighbor? Because they probably weren't your closest neighbor then. Oh, there was somebody from north of Hinsdale. The bear would remember, I don't remember his name. There was Myers, I think, and I don't know who else. Hmm. Who was the gal that we had supper with last week when I was here? Mary somebody? The, guy, the gal that you sit with at supper? Oh, Mary Clem. Mary Clem, okay. Uh-huh. I was trying, I couldn't remember what She says, I don't want you to go up there. I want you to stay right here. Yeah. She's so nice. She's, she seems like a sweetheart, and she and she lived near Bridges. She said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she go out there and visit them all the time. Yeah, she said she still calls Julia on the phone, but Julia can't hear her very well. Yeah. They've been there a long time. So, do you have any good stories of my family? No. I Did you guys do much with with Grandma and Grandpa? Grandma Betty and Grandpa Magnus when they were living on the ranch? Yeah, we used to go to dances together at the Legion Hall. Oh yeah? All that group would get together and the Legion Hall is where the school is now. Oh, okay. So. Did you guys get into the big card party traveling to everybody's houses and doing doing card parties? I can't remember who used to I, talk. Maybe I that was mom and dad did that more with like Jim and Dana and them. Yeah. Well, we, we used to have some card parties around like that, and I would have, oh, probably eight tables of whist, or I think we In your house? Then. Uh huh. Wow. Boy, that was a. And that was before they added on. Yeah. That was cram, <laughs> you might say. <laughs> your card tables were probably fairly small. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We actually went up to Macaulay's the other night and played cards. That was kind of fun. Oh, we haven't done you? that in a long time. After the bear passed away and I moved down here, I didn't. I didn't tell him I could play cards. <laughs> I just didn't want to play cards. Yeah. So. It's a good excuse to get together with people, anyway. Yeah. Did you ever go to any dances at Genevieve Hall? Did they still have yeah. dances there? Yeah, Richard even coming home one night, one in the ditch. Oh no! The bear. Uh oh. <laughs> Were you with him? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he had me. <laughs> you didn't yell at him, did you? Huh? You didn't yell at him, did you? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I think he'd have one too many beers. 
<laughs> wouldn't be the first one, won't be the last one. <laughs> we actually went to one dance up there. Oh, did you? Yeah. I, Boy, that's a long way from in. Yeah, it was. I, I don't know. It might have been Matt and Sonia. I think Matt and Sonia had a wedding, a dance after their wedding up there. I remember because we took Paula with us, Sonia's little sister. Mark and I had her with us. I don't remember if we had somebody else or not. And Mark and I were ready to go. And we went to leave and standing outside the building was Paula and a whole bunch of guys. <laughs> and I don't remember who they were now yeah. or if we even knew him very well, but Mark thought he was pretty funny. And so he says to me, he says, watch this. And so he walks up and he grabs Paula and he points to all the guys and she says, she's with us. You guys all put your eyeballs back in your heads. And he grabbed her and threw her in the back seat of our car. <laughs> And then he got in the car, and Paula was just giggling. She thought that was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> Mark was acting so tough. He thought he was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, and the Marshalls used to come over from their home, you know, and that had to be eight, ten miles away, too. But that was quite the deal out of a Genevieve. That's a neat haul. We're going to have to find some excuse to have something up there. I know Brady would love to go to a big dance. I wonder if, if it still has windows in it. <laughs> it does. They put a new roof on it and well, siding they, not too yeah. terrible long ago. Yeah, I went through it the other day and it needs to be cleaned up, but it's still sound. It's still it's a good a, building. Yeah. Was there any other buildings ever up there besides that hall? Not that I know. Just two outdoor toilets. <laughs> yep. Those aren't usable anymore. <laughs> you tried that out, did you? I went and looked. I, you'd have a hard time getting someone to go in there. I have to bring up porta potties if we decide to have a shindig there, huh? I don't know if it's true, but there's some plants over on the side of the road by Genevieve, and people have always told me that it's horseradish up there. I've always wondered how that got there. I've also tried pulling it up a lot of times and always failed. Well, that would be wondering how it would get there, isn't it? Huh. I don't know if somebody ever lived right near there. Hmm. Oh, what, what about the schools? What, what school did your kids go to? Did they go to one of the country schools for a while? I think for a short time. I think, did they go to this, the Swanson Schoolhouse? Yeah. I'm thinking, I think I've got some pictures of them yeah, in the, some of the Christmas programs and standing uh -huh. in front of the school building. I think that's probably the only ones they went to. You know. And that wasn't for very long? No. My other favorite picture that I have, I don't think I probably showed you that one, is I have a picture that my mom has of Mike and Doc. I think it's both Mike and Doc passed out on our kitchen floor. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see that one. <laughs> I think they're wearing coveralls. I think maybe they've been snowmobiling and ended up at our house. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. Well, Delma and Gordon, they had one of those sleds, you know, you'd run around in. That was a big thing there for a while. The oh, neighbors yeah. would all get together and have big sledding parties and go snowmobiling from, I don't know where where they went. I remember riding on the back with mom once. I don't know where they went, just from house to house or? I think so. And gee, when the snow got fairly, <coughs> quite a bit of snow, how do you miss the rocks? Yeah. Yeah, because they were just, just snowmobile in the ditches for for miles. Michaela actually ended up in the yard of that because that was at the Ockery house, that picture that I have. Oh. Um, do you remember the Ockery's at all? Or where that name came from? I mentioned it to Linda and Lyle and a bunch of them when we were um, had kind of a going away party for Becky and Brian when they moved off of Swanson Ranch and I said something about the Ockery place and nobody else had ever heard it called that. Yeah, there was the Ockery place, but I can't tell you. Ask the bear. All right, I'll ask the bear. <laughs> you know, that's the one you want to get your, I know. your information He was from. such a historian. It's probably in his one of his books. I'll just have to reread his books. <laughs> yeah, I've been looking for copies of his books for quite a while. Come to find out that Grandma had a copy of each in my bookcase the whole time, right next to where I, I sleep. Oh, that's funny. So now I have to go through them. Well, well that would be interesting, though, for you to read. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, you might as well take those. There's no reason for them to be yeah. there where somebody else might decide to walk Just off. throw them away or whatever. Ew! And it's hard to that? find those. It's not like they're in every bookstore. Those are pretty valuable. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like his books? <laughs> oh, well, he did. The bear did a lot of swearing. The only person he didn't swear around was his mother. Boy, when she was... He went in the house, his clock, his, his swearing was done. I never taught him that. <laughs> he swore around me. You didn't teach him that? Yeah. No. So. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I used to love to go up to your house. The one thing, one, one of the favorite memories I have at your house is the, the cups, the aluminum cups that you have in your, and I think they're still in the cupboard. Oh really? In fact I think maybe one of the last times I was up there with Scott and Krista I had to have a drink out of one of your aluminum cups. We would have lemonade in aluminum cups and they were that was just the best lemonade ever. And then listening to you and the bear. Oh my goodness, you guys were funny. <laughs> it was entertainment. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Yeah, I remember one of the times I went and visited you guys when you were living in Hinsdale. Bear gave me one of his business cards, and I don't know what I did with it. I wish I still had that. But he talked about he used to do, what was it, rawhide and make latigos and stuff like that, uh -huh. was it? How long? And he made some shafts. I have a pair of his shafts, those red, white, and blue shafts that I have. And I feel bad because I promised him that I would wear those in the parade on the 4th of July, and I haven't done it yet. Do they still fit? Yeah, they still fit. Yeah, maybe someday. Maybe, huh? Yeah. I don't know. If it hasn't happened yet, I don't know that it will. My horses would probably freak out at the parade. They probably would. Yeah. I remember we had that um, horse. I don't know who's... Whose buggy it was, if it was Macaul must have been Macaulay's buggy because I know Jim and Dana were with Dad, but Dad oh, drove a said. buggy. Did he have a horse and buggy? I thought he did. Might have. Ask Jean, she could tell you. Yeah. She's a talented Simonson. She could do anything like Sid used to be able to do, you know. Yep. The last time I talked to her a while ago, she was putting new flooring on the floor. Yeah, I've seen hardwood, it actually. Hardwood yep. flooring. It looks really nice. She did a good job. Yeah, she. I hear she fell the other day and hurt her knee oh. some, but. Hmm. I heard that. I saw him at Juneberg. I haven't seen him oh, uh -huh. since then, I don't think. It's amazing how often you'll run into him. Yeah, they go to Gosford quite often, and Sid always has to have his ice cream. They bring a container of ice cream home. Do you still have some in your freezer? I don't think so. Took care of that? Now you had two in there last time I was here. Oh, did I? So, oh, I have a milkshake tomorrow on the menu, I've been told. Oh, good. Nothing beats a milkshake. Yeah. Do they make pretty good ones here? Yeah, they do. Very good. It's kind of a change. Some of the food you get kind of is kind of monotonous. But Once in a while they perk it up with something good. Yeah. Did, they, did you take sandwiches home in a doggy bag again today? Did I take what home? Sandwiches. Did they have sandwiches yes, I in did. soup? Uh -huh. I had two sandwiches about the day before yesterday and I had half of one yesterday and the other half today. Getting them whittled away. Yeah. I, th I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, you could have written several books of what the bear could have told you. Oh, yeah. He liked to tell stories. He was pretty good at it. Oh, you know the other family that I was thinking of from up there were the Stubers. Yeah. They were quite a ways north of us. They, they were north up. And they were past Teeny. Yeah, around Teeny. 
I went up to the house not too terrible many years ago because we go up, the 4-H group goes up and cleans the teeny cemetery every May. Uh -huh. and a few years ago, I decided to take a little extra time and I ran up to the Stuber place to check it out because I hadn't been in that house since they moved. And I remember when they moved, Lori and Beth did not want to leave because they were, Beth must have been, Beth, I wonder if Beth might have been like a freshman in high school or she was at least junior high and Lori was probably fifth or sixth or she might have been junior high. I can't remember. They were right around that age. Anyway, I remember they were writing their names everywhere in the house. Oh, they were. Yes, because they didn't want to leave. And if they had to leave, they wanted to be remembered. So I had to go up and check out the house. And it was amazing how small it was. It was a lot bigger when I was a kid. Oh, yes. And I remember we'd go up there and visit. And Frank would say, why don't you girls just spend the night? You can sleep in the barn. <laughs> oh, a nice warm barn, huh? Yeah. And you have to get up under the bales of hay to try to keep warm. Yeah. Oh. It was probably about the time we were at cow camp, though, so it was probably fairly warm. We would go up, usually would go up once at least while we were at cow camp and run up to Stuber's because that was the closest place. We'd go to Teeny and use the pump jack and fill up. We took cream cans old cream cans and we would fill those up with water and haul them back to the camper. That was how we got water for the camper. Oh, and we had, um, I bought the kids a few years ago, I found these yo balls. It's like a yo-yo, but it's on a, it's a, the string is on a spring and they're just a circular ball. Anyway, I was impressed with them because that was like my favorite toy when I was little. I loved the yo ball because it was no effort. I could yo-yo <laughs> well, and I it always came that. back in my hand. So I love that toy. Well, I remember being at cow camp with Dad and Russell. I don't remember if Heather was even there or not. She might have been, but well, she wasn't in the camp at the time. Anyway, Russell broke my yo ball. Oh my gosh, and I'll bet he was in trouble. He was in big trouble. In fact, I was so mad at him, I threw it at him. Well, he ducked. And I broke the big window in the camper oh. right above the couch. Russell wasn't in trouble at all for breaking my yo ball, <laughs> but I was in big trouble for breaking that window. Oh, Beth. That was a teeny tiny camper. That was little. Our camper seemed small. That was half the size of our camper. There did was a, did there was you a, go, in a very, get, go any place in it very often? Up to Cow Camp, just up to Teeny, up to the Grable place. We would stay there. You'd stay overnight. Yeah, we'd stay. I don't, I, I, I wonder now how long it really was, but I would have said it was a week or two when we were up there. Oh, for gosh sakes. That'd be a small place to, to cook and everything, yeah. wouldn't it? Oh, and that was one of my first cooking experiences, too. I made bean with bacon soup. And I didn't know how many cans of water you put in soup. I think I was thinking of, like, lemonade or apple juice or orange juice, you know, concentrate. And, and so I'll I bet it wasn't very tasty. No, yeah, it was not. In fact, the dogs wouldn't even eat it. It was so bad. So that was the beginning of my cooking expertise. Oh, and my mom had told me I was complaining because I've, I've been told that I, well, I have, since then I have been told that I could never be a true Swanson because I don't like coffee. And I could never be a true Johnson because I don't like iced tea. So I asked mom how she got so she would like coffee. I didn't understand how you could make yourself like coffee because I thought coffee was disgusting. She said, well, I just doctored it up enough. Yeah, I, I, I had to doctor mine up and that was pretty good. Yeah, well, she didn't tell me how she doctored it up. <laughs> so of course, being a kid made sense to me. I figured if you put Kool-Aid with it, it'd taste a lot better. Oh, that doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't sound very it, good. It didn't work. Since then, I have learned how to doctor up coffee. The best thing to doctor coffee up is with ba Bailey's Irish cream. <laughs> That's what I use. I use Irish cream or some, some of those creams that they had. Yes. Then it was really good. Yes. Almost as good as cappuccino on cocoa night, huh? Yeah. Do you drink? I've never been a coffee guy, no. I want you. Know, Trey, as you know, likes cappuccino, and Michaela's actually starting to like it. But and I'm that's sure. why they're the short two in the family. Yeah. I don't know if Luke's ever even tried it. Well, I finally got to go to my first all-school reunion since I've graduated. Really? I lined up that it's four years later because I had it 
the summer before I graduated, so this is the first time. Did you guys ever go down for the 4th of July and the reunion and the rodeo and all that? Oh, we never <laughs> missed the bear. If he saw a rodeo, Joe, we're going there. I thought, oh. <laughs> bear liked his rodeos. Oh, did he ever. I think you guys always sat on the north side yeah. of the rodeo grounds. You had to be careful where you sat so you didn't get the, spl the splinter in your rear. <laughs> yeah, Chris Christensen had actually found a paper that, just a short little paper that Baird wrote about the, the rodeos. Oh, yeah. Most of the paper was about him waiting for you to come back with his cheeseburger. <laughs> I guess he was hungry when he was writing. <laughs> Bear might have liked to have been waited on a little bit. There we go. Well, I brought two cripples with me to football practice today. The boys had a rough weekend. Oh, really? Yeah, Wesley sprained his ankle and John Ray bruised his hip, so they're both on crutches. Oh, really? They went all the way to Sydney for a football game. I'll tell you, I've been watching some football. I watched the Denver Broncos the other night, but boy, that's a rough game. Yeah, it is. I don't think I want my kids in football. It's we, That's definitely a question we've been asking ourselves lately. It's like, can our kids play football? You don't, you don't want them to have brain damage. Yeah, but the one thing they are way more careful about it now, they, the kid gets a concussion, the coach says something right away, and they can't play again until the doctor says that they can. Yeah, but the damage is done when, on impact. Yeah, except I think they're finding out that the, the real damage has been caused more by concussion after concussion after concussion. It's when they get a concussion, when they get hit after they're, before they're healed up. So it's, it's still not good, but it's better than it, better than it used to be. Yeah. So did your boys play basketball then or? Just the one. They said the doc had a heart murmur mm. and never bothered him the, to my knowledge, but Michael played and he was a pretty good he didn't get real tall, six feet, I suppose. Would that have been when the gymnasium was in the basement? Or was it after the no, new school was built? I can't remember going to a game in the basement, but it was just, I don't Was think. it in the basement or was it just like... It was, it was a lower level a from what I've heard. Oh, uh -huh. I think we dug into it when we built the greenhouse. Oh, really? We hit cement foundation from when they tore the old school down and just we found all the junk because they didn't haul it out. They just put there it back it in. Oh, it was like a time capsule. Full of rebar. Yeah. So that that made our greenhouse project much more complicated. The greenhouse or the or root cellar? The greenhouse. The greenhouse. Because you dug down. Why did you dig down for the greenhouse? Because they put a big cement foundation. They should have turned it into a root cellar with a greenhouse on top. But yeah. They didn't. Should have killed two birds with one stone, huh? Yeah. But yeah, I remember reading that they tore down a lot of buildings to build that first gymnasium, I mm -hmm. believe. They tore down a lot of the stuff that's at the FFA Park now, and I think the West End School as well. I'd have to look it up, but mm -hmm. they just used old wood, it sounds like. What kind of business are you in now, then? Helping Dad. <laughs> oh, okay. And Trying to get into the feed business, but... There's not too many openings at the moment, so I'm kind of waiting to see if something will open up. Yeah. Dad hasn't complained about me too much yet. Oh, I think he's probably tickled to death. No. <laughs> He'd probably be happier if I woke up a little bit earlier. <laughs> oh. Of course, by the time I get out there, he's usually still at the coffee shop or grandpa's, so I really don't see the difference. Yep. Yeah. They're actually building a a new gas station now in town. They're replacing the the quick stop. They got the gravel all out right now. Oh, oh, they're replacing the group. That's uh, they have to build a big enough building for all their coffee drinkers yeah. in the morning. Oh, <laughs> Dennis Boucher and all them are in there every morning visiting for. Oh yeah. I think at least when Shirley was working there, I think she would go a half hour earlier than she was supposed to, and they would still beat her at like five in the morning. Oh my. At least we have the ice cream shop now. It kind of, some of the older people like grandpa can go over there then and sit and visit for a while, a little bit quieter. 
Yeah, it was kind of funny because Leona, when she built, when they, she, they decided to build that ice cream shop and open it up, she was thinking it would be a place for the kids to come after school or on weekends, and it ended up being more of a senior citizen center. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was never there when I was there. Yeah, that's too bad. You have to stop on your way to Missoula. Yeah, it's not really. Um, well, it is on the way to Missoula, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking Billings. I'd go the other way. Yeah, there you go. I'll have to have them stop and get you some ice cream for the trip. That'd be a oh. good plan. <laughs> By then, it might be 10 below. <laughs> <laughs> it is Montana. On well, this weekend, they're having the fall festival. Oh, they are. Yes. Now Leona's kind of started a little, little fall holiday there at the Legion Park. So she'll have her ice cream store open, and then they have a chili, chili cook-off. Oh, I see all those advertising in yeah. the paper. Yep. I don't know what what all they have planned. I'm going to miss it this year because I'm going to be moving mom. So. Speaking of the Legion Park down there, Edrew used to talk about the the bandstand. I think I have a partial picture of one, but very few people have ever heard of it. Did you ever get to see it? That wasn't my during my time. Was it? Was that at the Legion Park or was it up at the? It, it was moved a few times. Oh. I think Edrew said that it used to be across the railroad, and then it was in the FFA Park. And they finally put it over at the Legion Park. They said it was kind of a round building, and uh -huh. and they would play in it. Hmm. Would they still have bands once in a while, or after? Th I wouldn't know. It's been so long since hmm. I've been there now. Yeah, that's that would be kind of neat. We'll have to rebuild it. Yeah, there you go. Plenty of room for it in the FFA Park. If that was a real park and you could actually do something there. Why can't you do anything there? It's still privately owned. Each one of those is individual lots still. Yeah. They just kind of get away with doing the landscaping so far. I don't think anybody's going to complain. Well, I remember someone was saying after they put in that big fence that one time, someone came in and clipped it and was parking their RV there because they owned the lot. Oh, really? But I think all of them that come up here at all have kind of just accepted it and are okay with it because at least it looks nice. Yeah. But unless someone's really wanting to do something, they should probably turn it over to the county or something. Hmm. Or we could put a big hotel there. <coughs> a hotel? Yeah. Why not? Hinsdale needs a hotel, right? Hmm? Hinsdale needs a hotel, right? Yeah. <laughs> Used to have a hotel. Was yeah. the hotel still open? Do you remember it? Oh, I can remember, yeah, but... Didn't a lot of the kids stay there, like, during the winter months instead of... Going they had... Home? Their parents had to make arrangements for them to either stay with another family or something. When the... Because there, you, there weren't much of any roads north, you know, that right. would get through the, all the snow. Did your kids stay in town some? Well, they had a grandmother in town. Who? Bear's mom or your mom? Who was in town? Richard's mother. Oh, she was. Now, what was her name? Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Eaton? Yeah. Was ben, Carol? Was it, it Carol was, or was that his sister? It was Ben and Marie. Ben and Marie. Carol was his sister, is that right? Uh huh. I remember him talking about Carol quite a bit. <clears throat> so, where did they live? Well, Carol is deceased. Right, but I mean, when they lived in town, Richard's parents, where did oh, they live at? There was a house right across from the where the Burns lived. You don't know where the Burns is. No, I don't know where the Burns is lived. <laughs> Burns places. That's not too far from the road right next to their house. You can drive down to the water. Oh, down to the river. park? Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Back by where um, Bob and Edry's house was or on the other side by the Lutheran Church? Right around where the Lutheran Church oh, was. Okay. Well, that wasn't very far from the school at all then. That was perfect. Yeah. Looks like you don't get to watch Jeopardy tonight anyway, huh? Oh, I don't think so. I don't even know. Or is that the wrong channel? No, that's on the right channel. You just get to watch a presidential debate instead. Oh, I That's a saying. 7. Oh, that's a 7. Yeah. What time is Jeopardy at 6? Six? 6. Oh. 6 to 7. There you go. You'll get your Jeopardy after all. 
Yeah, I didn't think they were going to do it. It was off all morning, and then they had airplanes going real low over the right. here, and they must have made about twenty passes. Was there spraying something, or there's some? I have no idea. There was actually a small plane that went by our place over the top of our place this morning too, out oh, just south of the tracks. When did those people go through and take all the aerial photos of the ranches? Uh, they do it. Every there have been so multiple many people years. that have done yeah, that. Yeah, they've. I don't know if it's the same. Yeah, people they've or... had. I know. I don't know where I've got pictures of those aerial pictures, but we had some. They're probably some place in them where we lived. They're probably probably hanging on the wall at the ranch. I would bet. Oh, that could be. I hear there's horses up there again. Mark, Mark said that Wade is pasturing some of his horses up there. Oh, really? Where exactly, I don't know, but somewhere up there he was having to go do some fencing to keep him in. Michaela and, and Trey and I caught the colts yesterday. Michaela has a one-year-old and Trey has a three-month-old colt. Oh, for God's sake. So we caught him yesterday and Trey led his around and we picked up all his feet and we did the same with Michaela's, and then we put a saddle on Michaela's colt. We hadn't done that yet, so he did really well. I was pretty pretty happy with him. His name is Abu. Really? <laughs> He's named after the monkey on Aladdin. Michaela's a Disney freak, and Trey's Trey's colt is Shadow. So I think I think my dad had a horse named Shadow once. Did you ever ride sh ride horses at all? Or did you leave that very to the carefully? Very carefully. Did you ever ride Betty? Uh, -uh. I remember Betty. Betty, I think, was the last horse that was up there. Oh, she was a, a nice old mare. Yeah, you could lead anywhere. Huh? Yep. So, do you have any good stories about the boys getting in trouble? Were they troublemakers, or are they pretty good? Well, in high school, there were kind of wild little boys, but I didn't hear it directly, but then Ronnie Cornwood, after a, a late night, he, Ronnie would come home with the boys, and he'd say, oh, those Eaton boys. He kept giving me a bad time about the Eaton boys. <laughs> but the two or the three of them. <laughs> yeah. Was Bear thrown in there with them? Might have been. Bear was the biggest Eaton boy, right? <laughs> yeah. So was was did you tell me that Wesley was maybe coming for a visit? Well, I don't know if he is or not. He maybe might. He calls me that. about once a month. I bet his kids are getting big. Yeah. Does he have three now? Does that sound right? Uh huh. One of them is Lucas. He has a Lucas. Yeah. Oh, look at those Indian things that were on their legs. Cool. Moccasins with all sorts of beatings. Did you ever get anything like that from your grandkids, from your step grands? Did they ever make you anything? No, the only thing that. I've got a thing right around the corner here, I think. Sandra beaded this for me. Oh, neat. Their Indians, their work they do is just marvelous. That's really pretty. Yeah, isn't that pretty? That's the only thing I have off hand. That's neat. Um, you were talking, we were talking about the shaps and stuff that Bear used to make, but Doc used to really make a lot of didn't he braid a horse hair and make a lot of stuff? Uh-huh. That was that was pretty intricate stuff. That was really neat. Does he still do any of that? No, and he's got a hand that bothers him and can't uh. anymore. I told him you should do some of that. He could have made a lot of money at that, but it's a very slow involved process. Yeah, it takes a lot of puts a lot of hours into oh, yeah, just one does. piece, doesn't he? Uh-huh. That's beautiful stuff. He would make bridles and reins and stuff, wouldn't he? Yeah, and I don't have I thought maybe I had something over there, but I oh. don't. I'm hanging up. 
So where would you guys go for groceries? I remember when the last grocery store closed in Hinsdale, but... Yeah, we used to have the three in Hinsdale. Otherwise, you go to Seiko or Glasgow. Which one was the best? The Seiko one was very good. Still is. That's a, that's a good store. Yeah. Did Ploofs have it then, too? They've had it for quite a long, long time. Well, they're the one that started. It used to be kind of a... I don't know if that was a bar in there or what it was. Mm. I can't tell you. But the proofs just did wonders with it. Yeah, they, they do a nice job. Who had the grocery store in Hinsdale when your kids were young? Was it Claypools? Claypools and I can't remember there was two more. Then Bingolsteads. Yeah, I forgot him. Were they open at the same time? And there was a co-op, I think. I don't know that the Hinsdale Co-op, but I don't know whether they were all at the same time or not. Mm. Bingolsteads must have been open at the same time as, what was it, J&L at that point when, when Gilbert and Linda had it? I can't remember when they were there. Yeah. Gilbert and Linda? I remember I was, I was little, I was probably five or six years old because I remember I was running outside the store and I tripped. Oh tripped and fell and I scraped up my knee oh dear and I had a scab on my knee and I had a scab and it just didn't go away and didn't go away and finally one day the scab came off and there was a little rock still <laughs> underneath the scab so that's why it wouldn't heal so I have a scar on my knee from that still I'll be darned significant flooding in Iowa mm. huh. That doesn't look that bad. We've had worse. Primarily, I might have to go to bed and get under the covers and keep warm. <laughs> you need to turn that up some more. <laughs> no, don't turn it up. Don't turn it up. Do you want a blanket? <laughs> it's right at about 70. There. Still better than 80, right? <laughs> yeah. So which creek was the ranch on? Was that still Cash Creek or was that one of the tributaries? Well, the ranch where we lived, it was just uh, Cash Creek, I think. So Cash Creek. I was going to say, our, our ranch wasn't on a creek. <laughs> huh? I was going to say, our ranch wasn't on a creek, so he must be talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Would that flood pretty good in the spring? or? Oh, it never flooded in the house, but... It would cover the, the ground around for several days. I was looking through one of the history books a while back and it looks like the, the rainbow, the building, is going to be 100 here oh, really? next year. Well, I and, I, and I thought that was really good because at the same time that Luke turns 21. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. So I told Bruby, the guy that owns it now, just it's just a personal thing. It's not an open bar, but I said we need to have a big party in there and we'll celebrate both. There we go. In November. Yeah. Which Lori usually is home in November about that, that weekend because we usually do celebrate Luke's birthday at the <laughs> Rainbow. <laughs> Just because it works. You see about your height too? Did He's you taller. You've got to be kidding. Well, how tall are you? I'm about 6'6 six, six, and Luke's about 6'7. Oh. I still have about 50 pounds on him, though. <laughs> I really should work on that. <laughs> Just eat a little less. <laughs> but there's so much good food. <coughs> but yeah, that the rainbow even still has the safe down in the basement. Do they? He, t he put cots in it, so when he has hunting buddies over, they sleep in the, in the safe. Well, honestly, isn't that something? Yeah. That's a pretty cool building. It's pretty nice to still have that and the bank and the Masonic Hall. The Methodist, I think those are the four oldest buildings in town. Mm -hmm. well, I think so. I think the Methodist is the oldest and then the three the three stone and brick ones. I never missed church when I lived at, at the ranch. I, we'd have church at 8.30 at the Methodist church and I'd get there in time for the, that. And That's impressive. I don't even go to it here in Glasgow. <laughs> I went one day and I think there were six Methodists. Everybody's Lutheran here. 
We were at the Methodist Church yesterday. It was their ham dinner yesterday. Oh. I bet you made many a pie for that. Yep. And the churches all went together, you know, to put some of these things on because individually you can't have seven people do everything. And so that worked really well with the churches getting together to run things. Yeah, I know the, the best thing they ever did was put the funeral committee together so that That's right. everybody works together instead of one church having to... And it was easier, you could do it. And yep. Like one church would bring rolls for something and another church would bring the desserts and yep. so on. It works, works well. You bet it does. These little places, you have to do that. So were all four churches in Hinsdale when you got there? The Lutheran, the Methodist, the Catholic, and the Baptist? Mm-hmm. Because the Baptist used to be some little hospital, someone had said once, was that? The, the building where the Baptist church is now, yeah. yeah. I think that used to be a hospital. Do you remember that? McElvain's had that big house, you know, close right. to the... Right by the park hill there? Mm-hmm. I think right across from the Swansons, Elder Swansons. Oh, okay. Was the where was the Baptist church at before then? Hmm. I don't just remember the Baptist. Yeah. That's the only building I I remember it in. It must be the the newest might, yeah, church then, not, I guess, huh? Might not have been around. <clears throat> So, was there still a doctor in Hinsdale then, or you had to go to Glasgow? I think there was when I first came, Dr. Is it Cockrell? Oh, or his name. Cockrell? Cockrell. But went to Glasgow probably for everything then? Yeah. Yeah, by then it was Glasgow, or Malta. But Glasgow, more people went to Glasgow, I think. Mm -hmm. And then we could get our groceries in Seiko. From the Pluth. And they're still running. Yeah, yep, they are. <clears throat> they do a good business. And that butcher shop is really impressive. Boy, he puts a lot of animals through there. So I think he employs way more people in the butcher shop than the store. He, he wins Montana medals for his food. Yeah. It's impressive. <clears throat> 